AMC Plus has six live TV channels, including AMC, BBC America, and The Walking Dead channel. The other side of this streaming service is its on-demand library, which rolls together Sundance Now and Shudder, two streaming services that have been around for a few years now. One perk of AMC Plus is that you get early access to new episodes of The Walking Dead. Hey, I'm Jim Kimball, editor of CordCuttingReport.com, where TV viewers come to get the most out of their hardware and streaming services. So I recently signed up for an annual subscription to AMC Plus just to see what it was all about. But I learned a couple things along the way about its pricing and availability that I wish I knew before I signed up. So if you're thinking about signing up for AMC Plus, it costs $8.99 a month directly through the AMC Plus website. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you may be better off signing up for AMC Plus through Amazon channels. And I'll explain why in a few minutes. After using the service for a couple of months, I think AMC Plus is being undersold. I see it as a mini live TV bundle first with an on-demand library of movies and TV shows playing a supporting role. The biggest value here is being able to see new episodes of AMC shows when they air without a cable subscription. This will be a big year for AMC because season 11 of The Walking Dead is right around the corner. AMC Plus subscribers will be able to see the premiere episode on February 13th, which is a week ahead of when it will air on AMC. This year, we'll also see the final season for Better Call Saul and Killing Eve. There are a couple new series that I'm excited about coming to AMC, Dark Winds, an interview with a vampire are both in development this year and will probably be worth checking out. Most people are going to be interested in AMC Plus because it's the cheapest way to see the newest episodes of The Walking Dead. Right now, AMC Plus has all of the season 11 episodes. And like I said, it's going to have the new episodes early before they hit cable TV or live TV streaming services. One thing important to note is only season 11 is on AMC Plus. If you want to go back and watch seasons 1 through 10, you still need a Netflix subscription. You can also find all of season 7 for Fear of the Walking Dead and season 1 and 2 of The Walking Dead World Beyond. When I first signed up to AMC Plus, I was watching The Bureau, which is a French spy thriller. There's five seasons of it. I am starting to pick off some of the Doctor Who specials, which are under the BBC America hub. I was a big Tom Baker fan back in the day when I was a kid, FYI. I'm not a huge fan of horror, but there was a series under the Shutter tab called Channel Zero. I thought it was a really great series, kind of had a low budget vibe to it. I only watched season one. One quick note about commercials on this service is that AMC Plus is advertised as being commercial free. It's actually not 100% accurate. If you're watching the live TV feed of AMC or BBC America, you are going to see commercials just like you would if you were watching cable or a live TV streaming service. For me personally, commercials don't bother me that much, but I know there's a lot of viewers out there who are very commercial sensitive, so I wanted to mention it. So as far as commercial free goes, it's actually the on-demand shows and movies that are commercial free. So you don't have to worry about interruptions when you're watching that way. Okay, so if you are going to sign up, I want you to really pay attention to this last part because I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. When I locked in my annual subscription, I was taking advantage of a promotional offer on the AMC Plus website, and I really wasn't paying attention to device compatibility. So what I didn't notice at the time was that AMC Plus currently does not have a smart TV app for televisions that run on Android TV or Google TV. So for me, that meant I couldn't watch AMC Plus on my brand new OLED TV up in my living room. Also, the AMC mobile app currently doesn't support Chromecast, which would have been another solution to get AMC Plus on my smart TV. So the better way to sign up for AMC Plus might be through your Amazon Prime account if you have one. 
That way, AMC Plus will be available through your Prime Video app. And as you know, Prime Video is available on smart TVs and, and just about any other device out there. If you're using a Roku, Amazon Fire TV, or Apple TV, of course, this won't be an issue for you because AMC is supported on all of those devices. But I know a lot of viewers, including myself, rely on their smart TV software to stream. There's some other options to sign up for AMC+, Plus, including streaming services like Slink TV. But if you're going to sign up for AMC+, Plus as sort of a cheaper version to a live TV bundle. I don't know if that's like really redundant or sort of besides the point. Maybe it defeats the purpose. I don't know. I can't answer that one. One last thing I want to mention is that I think the menu and overall user interface for AMC Plus really needs some work. I think the most useful way to navigate through this service is under the hub section, but you really have to go searching for it further down on the page. You can also find it under the Explore All tab. If I want to see everything from Sundance Now or Shutter, I can click on that tab and find what's popular. I would love to see AMC Plus put their hub system more front and center, because in my experience, it's one of the easier ways to navigate through a large library of movies and TV shows without feeling like I'm lost in a maze. If you want a good example of what I'm talking about, you can take a look at the main menus for Paramount Plus, which has all of its hubs for each channel front and center. Disney Plus also does this really well. AMC really needs to have its movie section broken up into categories because sometimes I just want to see my choices for a thriller or a mystery. But overall, I think AMC Plus is a good deal for people who want to live stream AMC without a cable subscription. And if you like thrillers, documentaries, and true crime, you'll find a lot to dig into. Sundance Now and Shudder are still operating as separate streaming services. A Sundance Now subscription currently costs about $6.99 a month. A subscription to Shudder starts at around $5 a month. But personally, I think AMC Plus might be a better deal just because it has those live TV channels. So if you've tried out AMC Plus, tell me what you think in the comments below. What other streaming services have you been subscribing to lately? I'm really curious to know and I'd love to hear about them. Hit those like and subscribe buttons if you found this useful and you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time.